Item number SCP-469 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Subject is to be kept in an airtight soundproof containment chamber 15.24 meters by 15.24 meters by 15.24 meters until a viable termination method is available. All personnel who enter SCP-469's chamber, Class D only, must wear standard soundproofing anti-resonance sparse suits at all times while inside the chamber and communicate only through written notes, hand gestures, or text messaging. Absolutely no one is to touch or even approach the subject with anything other than probing instruments. All equipment taken into SCP-469's containment chamber must make as little noise as possible or none at all. Cell phones are permitted for communication between personnel as long as they are muted. At first glance, SCP-469 appears to be a gargantuan pile of white feathers, measuring 8.84 meters in diameter and weighing several tons. Upon closer inspection, however, the subject is actually a vast array of enormous white avian wings, tightly curled up into a dense mound. Each wing varies in size and span, ranging from a few centimeters to several meters, but are all covered with glossy white feathers. X-rays have revealed the wings to possess a hollow bone structure underneath similar to other birds, though these bones are very soft and flexible, allowing the wings to bend and coil up at angles other birds and indeed other vertebrates are incapable of. At the center of the mass is a large humanoid creature curled up into a fetal position to which all the wings are attached by its spine. SCP-469 seems to feed exclusively on sounds and sound waves using the energy gained from the sound to grow newer and bigger wings than feathers. The louder the sound and the higher the frequency, the faster SCP-469 grows. Though it can be sustained by any sound, it seems to have a preference for rhythmic slash musical noises, especially those produced by bells. SCP-469 itself, however, seems to make no noise whatsoever due to the sound absorbing structure of its plumage. Any human or animal that touches or gets too close to the surface of the creature will be quickly enveloped by the outstretching wings and drawn, in and drawn inside. Despite the feather's soft appearance, each hair has a sharp point that quickly pierces through clothing and into bare flesh, releasing a neurotoxin that immediately stimulates all the pain receptors in the body, as well as other stimulants to keep the victim from passing out too quickly. This is to make the victim scream loudly thus feeding SCP-469 even more until the victim eventually goes into shock. SCP-469 has been responsible for the loss of four personnel through this method. Touching SCP-469 with dead or non-living objects has no effect. All termination methods of SCP-469 have been unsuccessful. Flamethrowers were initially used, but the noise from the discharge of propellant as well as the crackling flames gave SCP-469 the energy to grow faster than they could be destroyed. Cutting and slicing instruments due to their close range resulted in failure and the loss of two agents. Acid immersion is being suggested. Addendum No bells are to be rung anywhere near SCP-469, including alarms and recordings of bells. The sound of ringing bells causes the humanoid in the center to wake up, unfurling its wings and proceeding to-